Good evening. We're back with more Lord of the Rings LCG. And tonight is Peril in Pelar Gear on Nightmare Difficulty. We start with one Harbor Thug in the staging area. And Alcaron's scroll is going to be attached to one of my heroes. On normal difficulty, this quest was an introduction to the battle questing mechanic where we use attack power instead of willpower to quest with. Doesn't affect this deck too much as it has the ability to battle siege or normal quest pretty well. But I didn't draw a Knight of the Swan in the opening hand, which is the attack power buffer. But I am able to play all of the contents of my hand and get set up with very good tails. So I can get an Ether Swordsman and I'm choosing Knight of the Swan over Warrior of Lassernach because we're battle questing and Knight of the Swan buffs attack power. And we're going to go again and this time grab Faramir. Though he's not going to be a very important character here. And you could make an argument for Forlong instead. So a pretty strong turn one. And the discard from the Leaping Fish is not an enemy, so no enemy added to staging. Now I remember that needs to go on one of the heroes. And it's going to be four threat against and six attack power and bringing to the quest, so two progress. No damage by the Harbor Thug. And we're on to the next round. You can get overwhelmed on this one if you get a lot of enemies early, but we didn't get an enemy from the first Leaping Fish discard and didn't get one on the draw, so that's good. And Steward of Gondor's out now. Got another Ether Swordsman. I'd prefer another Knight of the Swan, but this is fine. So I don't have a huge amount of willpower I can bring, or attack power I can bring. Once again, it is not an enemy, so that's good. And going to quest for hopefully enough to clear the leaping fish. But it will not leave us enough to clear the enemy as well. And that will clear the leaping fish. With total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to 4 was 11 progress. So that's enough to clear the Leaping Fish and move into Phase 2. And Alcaron's scroll is going to get attached to the highest engagement cost enemy, which is one of the 25s. And now one attack is going to go on Denethor and one on the Errand Rider. So, no problems. If Alcaron's scroll were to stay on that Arbor Thug for three refresh phases, I would lose the game. Which is only the case in Nightmare Difficulty. Thinking about Captain's Wisdom here, you could definitely make a case for using it, but it's conservative not to. But I decide I'm not going to. I just quest lightly here with the intention of clearing the board. It's a dockside street, so just two progress, and we're going to clear out these enemies. Didn't quest with too many guys because I need to be sure that I clear the Harbor Thug with Alcaron's scroll. And I don't have, I have only one attack power buffer so I'm not going to be attacking for that much. That's going to be just three actually so I needed to attack with one of my Envoy of Pelar gears as well but no problem. 
So we're going to exhaust her Lewin here to take control of Alcaron's scroll, and then he readies up in the refresh phase. So I was debating using the secondary function of Heed the Dream there, but I decide against it as I don't really have the resources to spare unless I didn't want to play one of the cards in my hand. The other swordsman I wouldn't have been able to play if I used the secondary function to find a Knight of the Swan, and you could definitely make a case for that, but it wasn't necessary to do it, I didn't think. So requesting for 12 here. So, eight progress. And that's going to... can exhaust her Lewin to move to the location. And should be able to dispatch the Harbor Thug easily. So, on to the next round. Just going to continue building the board state. Not, it's pretty sur superfluous. Not anticipating too many problems at this point with a clear board. And it's an Umbar Assassin, a major pain in the neck. Do quest for 10. And we're going to optionally engage the Umbar Assassin, which means dealing 3 damage to a hero. It's got to go on Herluin, which means he would drop the scroll, though I would simply exhaust him, exhaust him again to grab it. And I forgot to actually exhaust him, but no matter, as his action wasn't used for anything else. And I remember in just a moment to put the archery damage on my characters from the Umbar Assassin. At least I think I do. It could go on almost anybody. I guess I did not remember. I forgot it, but no problem. With two on Philosopher's it could go on anybody. doesn't really matter. So I'm going to Heed the Dream and Secondary Heed the Dream to grab the other Knights of the Swan. Uh, really not needed, but why not? So, game should be over in two turns at this point. Just reminding myself how much I'd like to quest for there. So, 11 to 4 against 7 progress. That moves us into phase 3. Need to add a, another enemy to the staging area. Just choose a, a harbor thug. And I have to move to City Street. Now that we're on the other side, Phase 3B, if uh, an enemy is revealed, he's going to make an immediate attack. So that's going to deal one damage to each of my allies. They all have two damage to give, so no problem. Well, it does kill uh, Envoy of Pelar Gears. And now that I have three Knights of the Swan, any random guy could attack and kill these enemies. So, this should do it. Even if an enemy makes an immediate attack, that won't be a problem. There's plenty of willpower to bring to this quest. So I probably need around 21 or so. Just checking to see if there's any anything worth Men of the Westing for. It's not necessary to do that at all. Uh, 
I'm gonna quest for 25. And the card is not an enemy, but it's a blank surge into an enemy. So that enemy should make an immediate attack against one of my uh, allies, which I forget to do, but no problem. There's no combination of cards which could have interfered with my victory. No combination of shadow cards or attacks that could have interfered with the victory at that point. And that will end the game. So a relatively fast playthrough. Once you get set up and you don't get enemies for a couple of turns with the Leaping Fish, then you're likely going to win in this quest. But it can go poorly if you do get enemies early in the game from the Leaping Fish. Or if you get some formidable enemies from the uh, encounter cards early in the game. So, thanks for watching.